the greatest majority of new vehicles on the market are already connected with 4G and in the coming years also with 5G. All the car manufacturers that we talk to express connectivity as a key functionality in their new vehicles. There are so many new areas and cellular connectivity has a central role in this evolution. My name is Stefano Sorrentino. I work at Ericsson Research, mostly with connected vehicles. I believe that the automotive industry is in the middle of a really major transformation. We're seeing some new actors coming in and disrupting the technology. At the same time, the established actors are changing the way they interact. A large focus of our automotive research is about understanding what comes next. In one project, we are cooperating with leading partners to show how cellular networks with 5G can deliver sensor sharing between different vehicles. Think about a first car driving on a slippery road with an aqua planning danger. Thanks to cyber tires, this information is conveyed by the vehicle detected, sent to a cloud which redistributes smartly the information to the following vehicles that may be close or may even be far away so that you can visualize a warning to these coming vehicles. So we really expect in the future years to see a progressive shift of intelligence towards the network. Vehicle makers typically manage and own large fleets of vehicles and that's a huge resource for them because they can use their vehicles as sensors of data to learn about uh, their own vehicles, they need to use machine learning and artificial intelligence. So we should not just think about AI as obviously a key feature of autonomous driving. We should also think about AI as a key feature in the cloud, even for manual driving, as a way to monitor the vehicles, learn about the vehicles and provide progressive improvements to the vehicles over their lifetime. And when 5G is coming into the picture, we see an increasing level of automation, increasing levels of safety and efficiency, comfort, and uh, improved environmental impact. And in all of them, the common denominator is connectivity.